Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nao Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gorgeous wood effect using permanent markers or Sharpies. I'm going to lay down the background of Barley Fields. Now, Barley Fields is, I mean, we were saying, we, I want, well, we, I'll say we. I was saying I wanted like an ivory kind of colour and I think that's what it is, like an ivory, like barley is it? <laughs> like a vanilla ice cream. Oh I could just have an ice cream. Oh I could as well, raspberry ripple, Ooh. I love a raspberry ripple ice cream. I'm going to do two coats of this. So we've got a background colour. Now what I'd normally do now is top coat it because working with Sharpies they slip and slide very easily on a top coat. However, this time I'm going to take off the sticky layer and then I'm going to do it because what will happen is this beautiful gorgeous pen from Habercraft, not a Sharpie, same thing if you get what I mean. It will stain the surface of the nail. And that's what I wanted to do. So by not applying a top coat, it will stain the colour as well. That's going to help with this wood effect. So I'm going to take off that sticky layer using gel residue wipe off solution. You do need to make sure all of that sticky layer is off as it will interfere with the Sharpie. Now for the wood effect, all we're going to do is pull from top to bottom So normally we'd be like, going like this, we're going to pull from top to bottom till you cover the entire nail and you can see already we're starting to look like David Dickinson. <laughs> please slide in a picture of David Dickinson. Rest in peace. David Dickinson? Didn't he die? No. He died recently? He hasn't died, has he? One of those people did. What? From? Those, those orange people, one of them did. No. Dale Winton. Ah. Dale Winton. He died. He was an orange person as well, wasn't he? Yeah. So, we're looking like mahogany. <laughs> the more you put on, the darker it's going to get. And it's already starting to look like wood. I love this. This is like the easiest wood effect I think I've ever done. That's actually really good. Cool. Isn't it really good? Look at that. I don't, I don't even want to do anything else to it for them. So, we want some little knots, don't we? Because we like wood, because we have little like little knots. So I'm going to do some little circles where I want the knots to be, which is going to be there and there. And then I'm going to pull down and dodge the knot. It's like a little game. Dodge the knot. Dodge the knot. See? Because the wood opens out where the knots are. My daughter's got some um, handstand canes. And they are made out of wood and they have the most beautiful knot in them. Then I'm going to tap in the middle. You can see what happens? It creates another little not the more you do it the darker it'll be and you'll have the little separate ones as well I'm just going to come around this one a little bit more i'm going to start that one again look at this we can do it again if you're not happy tap in the middle I'm struggling to find figure out how you're going to make that look more like wood. <laughs> it already looks a lot like wood. I'm not, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. So now we're going to take a green sharpie. But what we need to do before that is 
gel residue wipe off solution onto a 3D brush. And I'm going to start to remove some of the colour. You can see how it's stained. See, that's what I wanted it to do. See how it's stained, that colour? But we needed that pale colour underneath to get the effect that we want. And all I'm doing is doing like little leaf shapes. So as I remove, I'm making sure I know that I'm doing these little leaf shapes. And just removing it with the gel residue wipe off solution. Just a little bit. You don't have to put loads on. That's where our leaves are going to be. And then we're going to use the green. And I'm going to fill those little shapes we've done. Okay. So we've laid down the green where we want these leaves. And now with the gel residue wipe of solution on to your 3D brush, we're going to add a little bit of detail to these leaves. Just going to sweep through and as you sweep through they'll lighten. You'll start to remove some of the green but the green will stay because it's staining the nail. Ah, that looks so cool. And it's all been created with Sharpies. How cool is that? So once it's dry, which it will, it'll dry really quickly to be honest with you. We're gonna top coat. So because we've because we didn't top coat it and it sticks really well, that's why you get that effect. You can do it on a shiny surface, but it won't it won't stain we want the ink from the pen to stain the nail and it's only staining the gel top coat so if you were doing this over the top of acrylic you know you could file off the gel polish and it's not going to stain anybody's natural nail. You should always do this on top of gel or some kind of enhancement. Let's pop that in the lamp. I'm just going to add some gold little metal pieces, that's all. Mm. And as by magic, the gold pieces will appear. Ta-da! So those little metal pieces are from... The number 10 wheel so you've got lots of little things in there i'll just use these little teardrop shapes and one of the studs there you are bit of wood we all like a bit of wood there's lots of wood things about at the minute don't they like things made out of Trees. wood depends where you live well because i in, in, even at christmas they had like wood decorations and things like that it's all very it's very earthy it's very, everyone's against plastic it's it's very natural and about you know sustainability isn't it if you're chopping down trees it's not exactly sustainable is it yeah you're right there mm. as long as you replant them well yeah there is that there you go guys hope you've enjoyed that video have a go it's super easy i promise promise you have a go everything we've used today apart from the sharpies which you can get from anywhere is listed below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye